he really is. He's just so desperate for attention. Like, I'm just, chat doesn't make me <laughs> chat. Don't you think? Okay, like, pause, pause for a moment. Don't you think it's kind of crazy how Donald Trump is the only politician that could have two assassination attempts on his life in one election cycle and most people don't care? It just, it just, it's just, he's, he's really the only guy who could do it. It's really an oh no anyway situation, but from everybody, he really is the only guy who could get, who could get shot and shot at twice in one election cycle and really nobody cares if he was if he was any other guy people would care like if, if you haven't heard um donald trump was shot at um well he was not campaigning and chilling at his golf course the other day um well actually not the other day like earlier today sorry trump was the subject of an apparent assassination attempt at his florida golf club the fbi says First, it was just shots fired near his golf course. Then they realized he was shooting like at the golf course. And now they've captured the guy. And it seems like they think that he was the guy who um, he was trying to kill uh, Trump. But I'm just going to be honest. He really is the only politician. Yeah. And they did miss twice. Like they had two attempts to get him and they missed. Trump supporters are like, Jesus is protecting Trump. I mean, like apparently Jesus to them, Jesus is about protecting Trump, but not all those kids in school. Um, but you know, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, it's just like anybody else, people would really care. Literally anybody else, people would really care. It'd be like a big story. People would talk about it for a while, but like Donald Trump, he just, it, it's really an oh no anyways with this guy, um, in the funniest way possible. There's just so much, there's just so much crap surrounding him that people just kind of, it would just kind of stop caring. They really do. I just. And and I and I can't lie. I I also don't really care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't. I, Mom, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I I just kind of, I just kind of couldn't care less. Um, I think one of the big things about it, like, because some people were talking about why that was the case. I think one of the big things about it is that for one, he got grazed. Okay, he didn't release like a like a health report, like a doctor's report on the damage that he took. He wore a bandaid for three days and then and then ever since it looks like he's never been shot before. OK, that's one thing is that the fact that he took so little damage Two, is that let's let's he's just a drama queen. Let's just be honest with with us. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Like, yeah, it's unfortunate that he got shot and everything. But like he's he's always there's always some bullshit with him. <laughs> he's always talking about how he's the most. He, he's the, he's the most like, you know, persecuted guy on planet earth. And you know, it's, it's a bit like, it's a, it's a bit like crying wolf, you know, like how many times are we going to, how many times are we going to go through this? He's just a messy bitch. Right. And then I think the third, the third, and, and like a lot of people don't talk about this. The third is that he, he's such, he's he's done so much to like devolve people's care about truth in this country. And he's just such like, he is, he's just like such a messy princess that it's, it's really possible for you to imagine that he would have faked it. <laughs> like, I, it, I don't believe that. I think it's really, I think it's dumb to think that it was faked. It wasn't fake, but I can see how people get there. I can see how people, how, how people feel that way. Cause let's just be honest. The, the Donald Trump fake the shooting and he, his ear is not even hurt. Like conspiracy is everywhere. It's everywhere. And I think it's a massive chunk of why people just stopped caring. <laughs> people just stopped caring because there's a lot of people who didn't care originally because they thought it was fake to begin with. There were so many people. It was such a big, it was such a big thing to believe. There's, there are people today. I, I see posts about how Donald Trump like faked uh, the shooting and everything today that have like tens of thousands of likes on them. People are not playing when they say that they do not believe that that guy was shot. And the ones who do, do not care. It's just, it's just really remarkable. Do you remember when Donald Trump said that he could, remember when Donald Trump said that he could uh, shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and not lose a single voter? He was right, but in the opposite direction where he could get shot on sixth Avenue and not gain a single vote. <laughs> he was, he was perfectly right in the exact opposite direction. My man actually got shot on Pennsylvania Avenue and didn't gain a single voter. No one cared just in, in the exact opposite direction. 
is how he was correct. And he didn't even know. He didn't even know. He couldn't he couldn't think of it. He had no clue what a cornball. And you know what's even crazier about this? Cause so okay, so the first time, remember, like the kid who shot him was like a registered Republican, um, uh voted for Donald Trump, was like a gun nut who wore a he was a gun nut who wore like a a, a, a like a gun tubers merch to the shooting. <laughs> like Demolition Ranch, if you heard of them. That shooter was wearing a that that shooter was wearing a demo ranch merch shirt. He wanted to he wanted to be buried in his demo ranch merch shirt when he was taking shots at Trump. Right? And then this guy, this guy is this guy's politics are completely incomprehensible. Incomprehensible. Did you guys see this? Okay, so I so they found his Twitter account. So they found his Twitter account before he he um his uh his his uh his account got deleted. Facebook already deleted his account. But I save I saved some stuff from his Twitter account. You guys want to see? Cuz I found it I found it personally and then I I saved some stuff before the stream dropped cuz I thought it was just wild. Take a look at his Twitter still up. Ooh. Elon's terrible at his job. Take a look at this. Hashtag let Tulsi debate. Tulsi, we need to reinvent ourselves at this at this stage. We need to create a new, extremely powerful emotional message that we deliver in numerous videos using all we have learned. Let me help you create some some powerful speeches. Let me fly to where you are and work. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> let me fly to you right now. Tulsi, Tulsi, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. And also, chat, you can't, you can't, you can't, before, oh, before we dive into this really deep, I'm just gonna, I, listen, I'm not a conspiracy guy, okay? But I will say, the Swifties work fast. Trump earlier today tweeted out all caps, I hate Taylor Swift, okay? All caps, I hate Taylor Swift. And you know what happened? Hours later, live shooter at the golf course. I'm just, I'm just saying... If if true, Swifties work fast. Swifties don't play. Swifty got Swifty got shooters out of here. Swifty got shooters out here, man. They don't they don't play no games. He picked a fight with the wrong. He picked a fight with the wrong people. The only thing the only thing worse that he could have done was tweeting out like I hate um, BTS or something. Then I know for a fact that shooter wouldn't have missed. If my boy tweeted out, I hate BTS, I know that shooter wouldn't have missed. It would have been all over. He would have been done for. They don't play, dude. They don't. They really don't. <laughs> A shooter came to his residence swiftly. Swiftly, expediently. Hashtag killed. Killing, killing anywhere is extremely tragic. This one was hilarious. I can't lie. This one was one of my favorite tweets. The sugar cane. Two years ago, him tweeting, killing anywhere is it's so tragic. <laughs> so tragic. My boy was about to write a tragedy like he thought he was Shakespeare. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? There's a couple of these two. We must remove Rick from office. I'm looking for Kirk Cadwell to join the team to win the mayor seat. Please reach out. He kept doing this where he kept tweeting. He kept tweeting out like a number, a number and an email with like Ukraine in it. I don't know whose number or email this is, but it's someone's apparently. Haiku stairs must be saved from Mayor Rick's demo of our children, Bruno. And then he added Bruno Mars, <laughs> asking Bruno Mars to help him. All of Bruno Mars's um accounts about the haiku stairs. Then he went to Joe Biden and he said, you should, Joe Biden, you should visit the victims in the hospital um, of the Trump rally and attend the funeral of the firemen who died. Trump certainly never would. Show the world what leaders really do. Apparently, he didn't take Joe Biden's advice. So he's like, I got to make, I got to give him a second chance. <laughs> I got to give Biden a second chance here. He also added Kamala Harris, too. This is actually right before she uh, she entered the race. Shadows broken on one screen. I see, I see, I see. So there are some more of these. Let me see if I can pull some up for you. Oh yeah. Also, something that was weird was that um was that uh like J D Vance actually followed this guy. 
Like, J- the actual JD Vance followed him. I'm not sure if he followed him, like, before. Before the shooting or what, but he was following him. It was weird. Yeah, here's, here's his account. It's so weird. I don't know what's going on here, but, you know. Not surprised. Maybe this guy was in uh, his Graper group chat. Who knows? It's very possible. You think Vance is trying to get a promotion? <laughs> Oh, yo, Vance is, Vance, he's, he, he realized that Vance was, oh, do you, can you guys imagine that it's been Vance this whole time behind the scenes organizing to try to get Trump killed? He wanted the promotion. He thought he'd be able, if he got Trump originally before the DNC, he'd be able to make it since he's super Trump light. He thought he'd be able to leapfrog into being the nominee, but that didn't work. So he used his connections with Peter Thiel and and, uh, and Donald Trump Jr. to be able to become the the VP, and then he had to do like a one more once again. You know, he he had to spin back on it to try and send another guy out there to to finish the job. Dot Van seizing power. It is Van. It's it's seizing power. <laughs> it's the Republican coup, the coup inside of the Republican Party. Darja, thanks for the five gifted I, five for the five dollar tip. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. Thanks for the tip. Darja, amazing. House of Cards type shit. It's it's real. It's it could be very real. Also, did, did you know this guy was also so he's a nine eleven truther, um, and also he was a t- no. No, they got him. They bipped him. They bipped him. Okay, wait. Before anything happens, I've pulled up his tweets in my in my bookmarks. Yes, they haven't deleted his tweets in my bookmarks yet. So take a look. Kimmel may have a valid point. What if COVID-19 does eliminate Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, and Donald Trump, and even Pence, Tulsi? We need to ramp up our efforts and grow support. So when the field narrows to none, you can win. Let me help. <laughs> he thought he was like, yeah, Elon, Elon bipping my freedom of speech for no reason. So this guy, he was like, COVID-19 is going to take out Donald Trump, Bernie Sanders, um, Mike, Mike Pence, uh, and Joe Biden. And so when everybody dies, except for Tulsi, Tulsi can finally, that's the only way, Tulsi Gabbard can still win. If everybody in the race older than her dies of COVID, then she'll easily sweep the nomination. This is her average Tulsi fan, honestly. Tulsi Gabbard to conspiracy theorist pipeline goes crazy. This guy would definitely be a Jimmy Dore fan. Now that I'm looking at it, this is definitely a Jimmy Dore fan type guy. Can you imagine if they find his YouTube channel? And he's like, Jimmy Dore, you're my, you're my favorite. So there's a, ch- so you're telling me there's a chance. <clears throat> so you're, t- I'm glad I, I'm glad I saved these. This goes so crazy. So yeah, so he supported, um, he supported Tulsi Gabbard, um, Nikki Haley, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, Joe Biden, and Donald Trump <laughs> in his life, at least. We know that at least he's, we know that at least he's a Donald Trump, Joe Biden, um, Tulsi Gabbard, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramswamy voter. The most, no, he's very decided. He just picks a new guy every time. Screenshot everything just in case. I got it on stream now, so don't, don't sweat it. I, I done nabbed it. It's all been nabbed. So he's generally confused. He's crazy. Also, he um he he was a he was a COVID, uh, de- um he he was a COVID conspiracy theorist. He said, I can't find it at the moment. I'm not sure if I saved it, but he said that like, COVID was invented by China to kill us all or something. Yeah, look, this is him on Twitter. Not my bad, not Twitter on uh, on Facebook before I got bipped. China's newest round of biological warfare on the free world is called. Mycoplasma pneumonia created by their scientists at at Xi Zhengili uh, to eliminate as many democratic civilians as possible. Coming from inside sources in China, we must move away from Chinese goods made from slave labor and defend Taiwan and South Korea in January. There's little. There is little time left. <laughs> 
There is little time left. Yeah, he's he's completely out of it. He was he was he's from North Carolina. Okay, he was registered as unaffiliated, which makes perfect sense. He's the most unaffiliated guy I've ever seen in my entire life. He's also arrested in in twenty twenty two. Sorry, two two thousand and two. Apparently, too. Maybe we're not sure. We're not sure if that's actually the the same guy though. Yeah, guy is guy is completely crazy. He was also pro BLM. He was he was a COVID conspiracy theorist. He was pro BLM, pro Donald Trump. Pro Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramswamy, pro Joe Biden, pro Tulsi Gabbard. He was also pro Ukraine, too. He was really big. He was really big pro Ukraine. I'm going to Ukraine to stand for world peace, but I am going to die. I would like to have a second of acknowledgement that as an American, I am willing to die for Ukraine, and and we all should be willing to go and die for democracy. Please help me showcase the cause. He also said that Joe Biden should release the entire American military so they can uh, then be civilians, so then they could go to Ukraine to fight the civilians for Ukraine, but not as American uh, 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 military service members. So it wouldn't be an actual war between the United States and Russia. That was his like. That was his Uno Uno reverse card on on. <laughs> so he's basically, the median voter. Yeah, he is the median voter. You're right. He is the he is your average swing state voter. Just so you know. I mean, he he was from North Carolina. <laughs> your average swing state voter. Yeah, that's a that's a North Carolina guy right there. Makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Pretty wild stuff. Oh, he also flew to Kiev. Too apparently that was that was like a video that was like a picture of him allegedly from Kiev, which is hilarious. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Jar Jar! Thanks for the thanks for the five. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Um, thank you, thank you for the extra five. That that means a whole lot. Thank you, thank you. Um, as well as um, Shadow Angel oh nine for the five dollar tip. Thank you so much. You guys have been so nice today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for the love. Thank you. Sorry, North Carolina keeps making these kinds of people. Our state is weird AF trying to plug the gas leaks. It's yeah, you plug one and another one springs up. Hey, listen, you're getting close. You're you're getting close, okay? In a couple election cycles, it's very possible North Carolina could become a solidly democratic state. It's very possible. It's very possible. Or at least like a democratic leaning swing state. It's very possible. Lexus next. I think a lot of people, a lot of people don't think about it, but Blaska, but Blaska, okay? Blaska, as I think possible in the near future. And a lot of people don't think about it. A lot of people don't even, they don't even have Blaska on their radar, but Blaska blowing her Blaska out, please don't, not on stream at least. Alaska is something that a lot of people don't have on their radar, but it's very possible in the future. Can I pull this up for you with 270? What I mean is this, okay, chat, look. In 2020, Alaskan Democrats had the biggest W that they've had in the last 24 years, okay? And Alaskan Republicans had one of the worst. Only 52% of Alaskans came out to vote. All right. F uh, Trump only won 52%. Now, yes, this is a 10 point win. Okay. But what I'm saying is that Alaska has been consistently getting more Democratic and less Republican since 2000. And I'm just, mind you, okay, you may think, Oh, that's still like, oh, 10 points are so big. This is almost the same margin that Ohio and Iowa voted for Donald Trump. Okay. And yes, we view those states as like solidly, more solidly de Republican now. But, but what I'm saying is that if we can go from Obama winning both of those states twice to um, uh, to, to, to where we are now, that it's very possible that the opposite could happen. I mean, just look at Georgia. I know you would have told me 
that in 2008, there's no way we're going to see Blorja sometime soon. 2020 rolls around. She Blorja hits. A Blorja has, has striked, okay? Blairizona as well. Many people did not think it could happen, but it did. But it did. So I'm hearing reactionary potentially, uh, but probably not fascist, uh, but not a knowledgeable one who was highly delusioned, uh, disillusioned by Trump because uh, he didn't do the things he wanted Trump to do. Oh, yeah. He called Trump uh, and pardon my words, retarded. Um, did I? I'm not sure if I have that tweet. Yeah, he, he called Trump regarded. Let me see if I can find this. Yeah, here it is. This one, this tweet. I, I didn't I didn't read the whole thing, but while you were my choice in 2106, I and the world hoped that President Trump would be different and better than uh, better than the candidate. But we all were greatly disappointed. And it seems like you are getting worse and devolving. Are you are you rewarded? I, I will be glad when you are gone. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. I mean, from the horse's mouth. So yeah, once again, Donald Trump, only politician in the modern era that can have two assassination attempts on his life and nobody cares. What can I say? He's, he's just that kind of guy. He can get shot on Fifth Avenue and not gain a single voter. 